Hello, I'm Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest YouTube video. Today I'm going to be doing some journaling inside my standard size traveller's notebook. And this one has plain paper and is the Traveller's Company brand. And I just fancy doing some really simple collage pages. I've just shared this one. I think it's probably already on YouTube as a short. I'm just really in the mood for doing lots of collage at the moment. It's one of my favourite ways to get creative really quickly with no pressure. I'm going to start off by putting down some simple layers on this left hand side. So I've got some printables from Pink Monarch Prints. I've got book pages. And I've also got this. I went to a block printing and botanical collage workshop with my mum last week. I thought it might be quite nice to try and incorporate one of these into the collage as well. Each month on Patreon, I release some prompts and two of the ones I think I'm going to pick today are outside my window. So I thought this would be a good way of starting to represent some of the changing in colours that I'm seeing outside. And I'm also going to focus on the prompt saying yes to. One of the other prompts that I'd released was saying no to, so that it was partly the thought process of what do I need to start saying no to so that I've got a bit more time left to say for the things that I really want to be doing. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on in my journal writing for today. But for now, I'm just going to start tearing up some papers and gluing them on my page. I've got the first layer added and I just wanted to make sure I could see at least a little bit of each of the papers that were on there. One book that I've been absolutely loving, which was actually sent to me by my publishers, is this botanical art to cut out and collage book. It's just You can see I've already torn out lots of the pages and images in here. But one of the things I really love is that the back of these are also patterned papers. So when you tear things out and you've got little bits left around the edges, you know that you can still use those in your collage as well. So I definitely want to use one of the images from here. I've also got some other little papers and perhaps tapes that I want to use in here. And this pouch was very sent, uh, kindly sent to me by Kuroko Studios. And I'll try and remember to leave everything linked down below in case there's anything in particular that you're looking for. So I just want to add another few elements on here for extra interest. And I really like how this has got those the little bits of writing on it. I think maybe I'll pop that down here somewhere. And I think this pad came from London Gifties some time ago now. I'm thinking actually for this, I might just use the perforated part at the bottom and put one of the fungi over the top but before I do that I just want to add a little bit of stamping on that background too. So I've got this set of beautiful stamps again came from London Gifties some time ago now and I'm going to use some black stays on ink. I'm not too worried about how much is going to be showing. I just like having lots of layers of interest on my page.
And I'll just do a second stamping down here, which I know some of that's likely to be covered up. And I just want to check that I definitely want to use one of those mushrooms. There's lots of different options in here of florals and different types of mushrooms. I just know I'm going to be using this for a long, long time. But so I'm just going to finish off this page now by adding my focal point with one of the mushrooms and a little bit of washi tape too. So I've glued down my mushroom now. I also used some of the backing paper and I've added that little label at the top. And I thought it'd be a nice place to stamp the date. I'm really pleased with how that left hand page is looking. I feel that perfectly represents what I'm seeing outside my window. I love having fun with the prompts. I release them on the first of every month on Patreon and I just really enjoy interpreting them in different ways and seeing how other people have interpreted them too. Because for outside the window, you could choose obviously to write about what you're seeing, take photographs or just represent the colours in some way. And that really helps my journal pages have some kind of special meaning to me, even if other people don't know what the meaning is when they see the pages. It's for me and that's the most important part in terms of keeping my journal nice and personal. I'm now going to add a quote on my right hand page and for this I'm going to use a brown Fudunosuke brush pen there by Tombow brand and I'm going to do a quote about boundaries because I said that I wanted to write about things I'm saying yes to. I think that's often about setting boundaries so that you can say no to more things um, and sometimes that's just boundaries within yourself not even other people but so I thought that would be nice just to have a little quote about that in the middle of this page. I've recently released another free printable over on my blog and this is on a similar kind of topic. I've called it end of year preparation, which is I'll be restoring my energy by, I will make time for, I'll be putting behind me and promise to myself. And I did that because I think as we reach this kind of end of year period, it can often get really busy with lots of other commitments and it's a reminder to make sure that we find some time for ourselves in amongst it all. So I'm going to finish off now with just a little bit of extra decoration before I start adding my journal writing. I wanted to bring a little bit of the orange over onto this right hand page. So I'm just using a pressed flower sticker for that. And I also want to add a little bit of stamping because of me self-care, perhaps going out to get some coffee it would be really, really nice and definitely spending lots of time in nature. So I thought they would be perfect to add on to my journal page. And for stamping those, I'm going to use the Versa Magic Chalk Ink in Sahara Sand. And again, these stamps came from London Gifties. 
I don't always get perfect stamping on my journals, but again, as long as I know what it represents, then I'm absolutely fine with that. And the black stays on ink that I used over here. I really like, it's great for some bold stamping, but I do find that it seeps through most of my journal pages, um, but it's absolutely fine if I use it on top of collage. Okay, now all of the decorative elements are added. I'm going to start adding my journal writing about things I'm hoping to be saying yes to over this final part of the year. And for that, I'm going to be using my black Muji gel pen. That is my journal pages now, all complete. I really hope you've enjoyed this quick journaling session and it gives you some ideas for your own journals too. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. Thank you ever so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.